Seville, the Reds go marching on into the fifth round of the FA Cup along with the Carvel Cup final. The Nags taking these competitions seriously on the side. Yeah, I think you need to, you know. A title always brings that extra confidence for the team. So I think I think it's right that he's taking these competitions seriously. That's it. I mean, strong team from the start. No one nearly expected that, did they? But just goes to show he's doing it a little bit differently. He's getting the game done and dusted and put to bed where other managers before have done it yeah, the opposite. Yeah. And we've struggled, but it seems to be working well for him. I just said on my vlog there, 11 wins out of 12 cup games this season. Because, it's good for momentum. Yeah, because you keep winning, you know, that keeps building the team morale. You don't want to come in a case where we, we put out a weakened team and we lose and then, you know, it goes like a domino effect. So I think it's right that he's, he's going on. Even Wednesday, I wouldn't go full strength, but you, you have to at least give some of the core players. Ferran hasn't played in two matches, so I think he, he'll probably be playing on, on Wednesday. So we, we have to keep that up because keep that winning momentum building and building all, all, all the time. And I think that's great. That's great by Ten Hag. So I think he should keep it up. That's it, mate. There, we come off the back of a disappointing week in the league, obviously dropping five points there. No one would have expected him to rest the likes of Varane, but we all questioned at the start of the season, how is he going to manage, how is he going to keep Varane fit? You just said it yourself. Two games rested. <coughs> could play him on Wednesday. doesn't have to play him on Wednesday. He could actually be resting for three games before we head into a really busy February. Yeah. Ten Hag needs credit for the way he's handled this season, does he not? Yeah, I think he's... Everyone says he's making the big decisions, which I think managers in the past have kind of, you know, like Oli and, and Mourinho to some extent. They kind of stayed away from the big decisions, and I think that cost us. So I think with Ten Hag, I don't know what players like Varane, he, they would know what they want to do because I will, will he want to rest three games in a row? You know, he still has to keep those minutes in his legs going. So uh, it's not just about playing to get injured. You don't want to get too rested all the time where. You know, when he comes back, he's a bit rusty. So uh, I'll be looking forward to see what he does on Wednesday because you still have to go. You can't go weekend and then they get one goal, then it could get two goals, and then we're on a bit of pressure. There's still a Premier League team at the end of the day. So, yeah, I mean, it was a bit of a hard watch, poor first half, but in the end, a bit of Brazilian quality in the second half put that game to bed quite easily. Yeah, I think the first half of the moment of all of a, a bit too slow, you know, they, they had two banks of four, well, two banks of five, really. and we were moving the ball way too slow, starting from the centre box and then going forward, so then it was, the play wasn't gelling together, but I think in the second half, you can see from the, the, the really start of the second half, the guys were on it, we were moving the ball a lot quicker, Anthony was on it a lot, building things, so I think... I, I, it's just one of those games where you know we're going to get the goal eventually. So it just felt felt that throughout the game, really. Yeah, red card for Andy Carroll there. Yeah, a bit of a brilliant. rush of blood moment there. The fans just lifted there. But it gave the chance for Ten Hag just to roll out the substitutes, give some game time to some youth players as well. Yeah, yeah. I think <coughs> Garnacho was great coming on. You know, he, he nearly scored with his first touch, I think. So it was good to see Palestri, Bebu, the younger lads get out of the play. So. I think Ten Hag is that. That's also like that's always a Manchester United's culture. They give it a youthful play, so I think it's good that Ten Hag didn't wait, you know, for five minutes to go to put the ball, set the ball like twenty-five minutes to go, let them have a run out, let them get that feeling, that experience. And I think guys like Palestra, those guys, Alanga probably might be going out on loan, but they, they still need that chance. And I think Ten Hag is managing that well, especially with Garnacho. I think he's managing that really well. That's it, more stuff that he's managing well. The uh, announcer announced Anthony as man of the match. Are you agreeing with that one, or do you have someone else there for you today? I think Casemiro is man of the match. But, but to be honest, it, <coughs> yes, people love to give the goal scorer man of the match, but I think Anthony did. He pulled the strings for us in the second half. You know? so I, think it was, I, I still would give Casemiro, but I don't think Anthony was far off man of the match. So, yeah, two Brazilians. That's it, looking ahead now, we talked about Forest, important that we get back to winning ways in the league against Palace the following weekend. But February, Jamil, <coughs> fighting on all fronts. How big is this month ahead now? Massive, massive. I just, I, the guy that I was sitting next to today, I was just telling him, I'm just worried, you know, because a season can turn like that, you know. We, we see it over and over. It takes one injury to Casemiro or, or Varane or somebody like that. And the season could change. I'm just worried everyone around us is strengthening in some way. And we're not. I think we're just riding on this high at the moment. 
So I, I just a bit worried to be honest with you. But at the end of the day, the team is still playing well, so we hope that continues. But it just at the back of my mind, because you, you see it with certain clubs every year, it just falters because of one bad injury. So I just think, I think they had said in the press conference that if, if there's a player available tomorrow, we should go and get them. And I think that's right. You know, you can't you can't rest on your laurels. At the end of the day, this is high level sport. It just it just takes one bad injury, like I said, and it could all go falling down. So I'm just a bit worried about that. It's going to be a tough month, a very tough month. But I hope we can continue what we're building on. Jamil, cheers for coming on, mate. Safe yeah. journey, home. Yeah, thank you. Yeah.